Hi all guys, uh, this is going to be uh, the tutorial uh, video demo, let's say uh, the demo of the of course I still love you mod that I just uh, released. I, uh, I actually I, today I did the uh, like the, the first official release. Okay, I haven't even yet created the, the website, but uh, yeah, so it's, it's done. Uh, so let's go. To go very very quickly with the a quick tutorial how to how to install it uh, what you need to look for and where you can find the official release and also how to use the the mod so here if you go to my usual github account uh, you can find here the like the latest release official release and you will see that there is uh, like different flavors depending if you are interested in each Windows or Linux or Mac. Um, actually, just to let you know, I, I haven't tested it on Linux or Mac, so yeah, if you find any kind of issues, uh, let me know. But I hope it works just fine. Um, okay, so if you download the the D mod, you are going to find that we have something like this folder and two zip files here that you will need to, to unzip if you want to, to use the desktop client application and the server you don't need to actually, I mean this mod can be can be played uh, like without any other tool to, to extract let's say the, the camera views or each other monitor applications but if you want to use the, the, the desktop window you will need to unzip these files and, and this is just yes, basically the, the mod itself uh, you, you need to copy paste as, as any other mod and let me show you how, how the actual setup will look like uh, once you have everything installed so you will have the of course I still love you folder and, and this is actually the only dependency the whole cam camera BDS and the of course I still love you I highly recommend to to have V6 region sender because I guess if you are using this mode, you're not going to only want to, to use one vessel but multiple vessels and maybe see a uh, landing from from the launch pad. So yeah, I guess you're going to need you are going to, to want to have that. And I highly recommend scatter. The the mod has uh, has really support for, for the scatter. And also for TUFX, but I, re I, 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 if you are using TUFX, you are going to need to use my, my, my release for that mod. That you can find here. It's, it's everything, everything that I'm telling so far is already explained on the, the readme file. But yeah, you can find it here. You need to use this specific version, or maybe there is any other more recent version yeah you can go for the most recent one but yeah so far you need to use this one um and yeah let's stop talking and now go for for okay speed right okay so the first thing that you're going to need to do obviously is to, to add some cameras yes for testing purposes i am adding some cameras to the dove uh, stock version so i have actually two cameras here uh, narrow cam, um, and I have this one that I remember, which is this one. Uh, let me let me search for it. Cameras, and I search cameras here. Yeah, I think it's wide angle, maybe. Yeah, and I have an narrow cam as well. There are some features that are not really supported for them for them so far. Uh, you know that in whole cam you have like night vision and yeah, different kind of uh, very cool stuff. But at the moment I'm just like using the camera position to, to render a different view, but I'm not using like the whole set of features that who can support. Um, but anyway, yeah, yeah, that's I think it's a small. It's not a, a small. This is one. This is one that's the mod. Okay, so yeah, let's let's use this this vessel. Let me let me launch it. OK, 
okay, here we are. Now, the, before going any further, uh, I'm going to because these I am using the QFX uh, settings that maybe, maybe you already know. They are one of the one one of uh, the few that I have for real solar system. But yeah, it doesn't really. It's not that good for for stock KSP. So let me just um, move this a bit down here. Yeah, that's that's better, right? Yeah, maybe I can go lower than that. Yeah, something like that. Okay. And okay, so now the mod. This is the icon, okay. Of course, I still love you. I have to use a uh, heart, just something, <laughs> something that can match the, the title, right? Uh, and we have here two cameras. If I click here, you see the UI of the camera, and you you will see that the, this button has just disappeared, and you can open the other one. And now you have two cameras. You can see the altitude and the speed here. Okay, so far so good. Um, you will see that there is a, and this is for me a known issue. Uh, I I don't know how to fix it yet. It, it it looks like that in stock, but yeah, there is like a small like I don't know how to call it, flickering or something like that. You can see both here, and the shadows it doesn't look good. Or I see, I mean, you can see here a solid shadow. But the shadow is not here. I mean, there is something going on with the shadows and flickering and stuff, but I don't know which is the problem, to be honest. So, yeah, I will look into that in, in the future, I guess. Um, so, here you have two cameras. I'm going to. No, I'm going to spawn a, a new vessel just to show off a bit and the things that you can do. Let me let me add another one here, right? And I have another two cameras here now. And I can also open one for the other vessel, right? Okay. You, so, you will see also here that you have an enable streaming button. And what if I don't have now at the moment I don't have uh, so far I don't have the server running. And I don't have also the I don't have the desktop client running. But I'm going to try I'm going to open the server right now just for you here now the server is listening i'm not going to go to explain the local host and the port this is all everything explained on the readme file I'm, I'm going to use it and now i can open the desk application that you will see the icon here okay now The desktop application is waiting for a camera feed. If you want to see, let's say, this camera, you just need to go and click enable streaming. And now you can go here and select the camera. You will see this ID, strange numbers here. And voila. Here we have the camera. Now, what I can do. Can just try to let's go for for takeoff. Take off the job. And I will open another desktop client. I will select this camera here. I can go just put it here. This here it is. And I will switch the camera here. And now we have both views. And that's it. Um, this is the mod. I mean, it's, um, it doesn't really have any other features that, apart from being able to. To, to display several vessels inside the game or outside the game or different monitors. By the way, now this, I'm running all this in, in a local computer, but you can actually, you have more than one computer or more than one monitor. 
and you can run the desk client application wherever you want inside your local network or even outside your local network as, as long as you have the, all the ports open, open without any firewall and that stuff you can change the port and everything and yeah and that's pretty much uh, what this mod is about my goal basically was to be able to do something like a falcon falcon heavy type of uh, landing and watching from the ground as have all the cameras and that's it and for some, by the way if uh, your vessel suddenly goes root and explodes or you crash it or it gets unloaded because of the range you're going to see how you can lose connection basically uh, let me for example enable streaming here if you want to see that in a bit So I, I guess at the ah now no okay and I, if I go here and I disable the physics race extender, it will get outloaded. Yeah, and you lose connection, and of course I still love you. Will tell you that yeah, you have the <laughs> the video connection has been lost or unstable, right? And that's it. I hope you enjoy the mod. Uh, let me know on the on the comments uh, if you like it. And if you want to support me, you can also uh, you can also basically buy me a, a coffee. <laughs> Do you have the uh, you have the link here? If you want to buy me a coffee, that will be appreciated. And that's all.